Hi everyone, I'm Donna Louise, and for the love of puzzles, let's get to building some crazy shapes. All of my videos are recorded and uploaded in 1080p HD quality. That doesn't mean that they will automatically play at this high resolution. Make sure to check your browser or app settings and set the quality to 1080p. No one likes watching a fuzzy video. And for the love of puzzles, I want to make sure that you get the most enjoyment out of watching my builds. Now let's get back to the video. I've never done a crazy shaped puzzle before. This will be my first. I chose this one because of the colorful imagery and I thought it might be easy to work with the different areas in the puzzle. So I'm thinking my plan of attack will be, well, there's no border, so I can't obviously sort out a border and do the border first, which is normally the first thing that I love doing. I thought I would sort by pieces that are all blue sky pieces that are all balloon and then pieces that have sky and balloon in them. So kind of like a quick three big pile sort. Then I'll probably work on the balloons first and do some obviously sub sorting. This puzzle is by, I'm sorry if I mispronounce the name, Treffel, T-R-E-F-L. It is called Colorful Balloons. It's a Polish company from Poland. Um, I'm not familiar with them. In this Crazy Shapes series, there were six puzzles to choose from. I did choose the one I thought would be the easiest to do. And it's only 600 pieces, so I'm hoping that it won't be too much of a challenge for my first Crazy Shape borderless puzzle. Um, I do think that maybe the picture on the box is representative of the border and what shapes are along there, so that may be able to help me out. So, for the love of puzzles, let's get sorting. Well, I've done the sorting and I just wanted to talk a bit about the puzzle pieces. First, I did find two pieces that I quickly figured out they went together. These are nice pieces. They're thick-ish, like a good width, I would say, two, three mil. They fit together perfectly. Like, look at that. That's not coming apart. Um, so far, the colors are nice and vibrant. What's going to be different for me while I'm putting this puzzle together this piece actually goes here, but as you can see, until I get the other pieces in, it's not locked into place. So there could be the possibility of accidentally knocking pieces around. But once I get this piece, then it'll be locked, or if I get that piece. So when they do fit together so far, I'm very impressed. Like this is stuck. See, I had to whack it really hard there. But then, you know, be careful not to knock your pieces around until they're all locked in. I always like to do what I call the flip test at the end when I'm done a puzzle. I literally try to pick the puzzle up and flip it over and see how well that does. So, so far, very pleased with the, the pieces. Love the cut. This is going to be so much fun. I enjoyed the sorting very much. My sorting was maybe haphazard. Um, I'm glad it wasn't a bigger puzzle. I think I would have had to, to sort better than what I did. So, yeah. Let's get to building.
So I am now 30 minutes in pretty much and maybe I started with the most difficult part because I started with the solid red balloon. Now I did pick out some of this balloon. There's some other red pieces from other balloons. I've kind of been playing up there with the sky. I'm trying to go through and find sky pieces that might be related to this red balloon. It is trickier than I thought, but I think mostly because it's the solid red color. As soon as I find these pieces, they seem easier, well I say that now, easier to find where they go. However, I'm having lots of fun. It is challenging, but I'm not frustrated. Um, perhaps maybe I thought it might be a bit easier or go a bit faster than this, but like I said, I did start with the solid red balloon. So I'll keep plugging away and yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the challenge. I have a feeling once I start on all the other balloons, they'll go faster. I think these pieces all go here somewhere. <laughs> I'm not sure where, my goodness. Oh wait, wait, look. Look, does that go there? That should go there. No, okay, that doesn't go there. Never mind, never mind. Got excited for nothing. Ah, yeah, it's fun. It's interesting. It's challenging, but it's not. Oh, wait, no, no, there, no, ah, okay. Um, again, you gotta be careful. See, this piece here is not fully locked in. It just kind of sits against other pieces, so you have to be careful that you're not knocking the puzzle around, but it's not too bad. Love the colors, love the imagery, love everything about it. It's a challenge, but it's a fun challenge. Still have all those pieces to go, some sky pieces, so we'll just keep plugging along. But 30 minutes in, this is how much I got done, which maybe isn't too impressive, but I'm having fun. And for the love of puzzles, why do we do this? We do it for the fun.
Well, it's been probably another hour's worth of work and I realized I had to subsort the balloons. And it is tricky and the reason why it's so tricky is this piece, for example. Is this the way up? Is this the way up? Or this? Or this? Or this? Or this? There's 360 degrees of potential orientation. So where did I pick that up? See, I don't even know where I picked that up. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, does it go there? Ah, uh, hey! Did, I don't think I, I think I had it in this pile. So it's very tricky because with a standard puzzle, you have very limited ways that a piece can attach to the rest of the pieces. But here, it's wonky donkey. It's so crazy. I'm having lots of fun. I'm enjoying it. It is a lot more difficult than I thought, but challenging, but fun challenging. So I've kind of sorted based on, let's look at the box again, which balloons are where. But part of the problem is I'm missing this side of the box. And so, ugh. and like I said, it's tricky to know how the pieces are oriented. So some of them are easier than others and some have been a lot more difficult. So this is the progress I made. How long have I been working on this? Uh, maybe close to an hour and a half and then like 16 minutes sorting. So I'm getting close on to two hours and this is the progress I've made. I've enjoyed it though. It's fun. I think I can start knocking out some of these. I maybe did start with the most difficult one being the solid heart red. But yeah, this will be really cute when it's all done. So for the love of puzzles, let's keep building.
Look, all the balloons are pretty much done. All I have left to do is the sky. What I've done off camera is I divided the sky pieces into two piles over there at the back. You can see pieces that have quite a bit of balloon on them and pieces that are just completely sky. They might have birds in them. I'm missing one piece of a balloon right here and I think it's because there's some blue. I probably will most likely put it in the sky pile over there. But yeah, I think this has pretty much got the shape and the size of the puzzle, 600 pieces. I'm enjoying it. The only frustration is when a piece hasn't completely locked into place yet and it's just very easy to knock and to move it. And so that case, when you're playing with the puzzle and shifting stuff around, it, it just can be a little tricky. That's just a slight frustration. I would say overall, this is very much a fun challenge. I would maybe do up to 750 pieces, perhaps a thousand, but not bigger than that. I think it would be maybe not a challenge that's in my books, but yeah, we're nearly there. So for the love of puzzles, let's finish this crazy shapes. Done! I can't believe it. Look how beautiful it is. The colors, the design. Ah, oh, I really enjoyed doing it. And it's completed. It maybe took a bit longer than I expected. And I did eventually have to do some subsorting to make it easier to find the pieces. But yeah, oh, I love it. I'm so pleased with myself. Now, I maybe don't have the camera at the right angle, 
but um, normally I try to do what I call is a flip test. Oh yeah, this won't work. <laughs> so basically I pick up the uh, puzzle and I flip it completely. But as soon as you pick this up, the pieces, I mean, they come apart. So it, ooh, yeah, fail on the flip test there. Oh gosh, look what I've done. Ah, that's all right, I'll fix that. But I, I guess I should expect that. It's a crazy shaped puzzle. They are not fully interlocked. If you lift it up, it will fall to pieces. Oh my goodness, I'll have to fix that off camera. Look at this final shot and I've made a total mess of it. This is maybe, well, I shouldn't even say the frustrating part about the puzzle. That's what the puzzle is. It, it's about being crazy shapes and the difficulty of it all. Look at this, it's just all falling to pieces. As soon as you mess it up, it all just comes tumbling apart. So no flip tests on this one. You'll have to wait and watch a different video to see what I mean by my flip test. My goodness, glad I didn't pick too much of it up now. Holy cannoli, Batman. Ah, okay. Okay, here we go. I'm probably hitting the camera too. So my question to you is, Oh, look at this. I'm having trouble. Um, have you done any crazy shaped puzzles? And if so, what brand should I try or a specific puzzle you'd like to see me do? Um, let me know in the comments below. Do you enjoy crazy shaped puzzles? Are they too frustrating? Oh, yeah. I just think this, this was fun. Different. My first crazy shaped puzzle. I really enjoyed it challenging. I'm not going to say frustrating, challenging, but definitely, definitely fun. So that was my first video completing a crazy shaped puzzle by Truffle entitled Colorful Balloons. What did you think? Thank you so much for being here and watching my videos with me. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy them. Please consider subscribing and until next time, ciao!